consciência. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Sneak Cartel. It's your boy Miles, and today we'll be unboxing the well, they already unboxed, but uh, basically, be just review and a little information on the black pine green retro ones. Now, let me start off by saying. I honestly don't know. You can't get me to understand. There is no, to me personally, this is just based off my opinion. My opinion. Um, a retro one is the best Jordan silhouette. Like, that's just my personal opinion. Um, there's nothing about this shoe that I will change, literally. I love the quality of this shoe. And normally when you see when it, like a Jordan come out, and especially Jordan, sometimes some Nikes, but especially Jordans, even though it's kind of intertwined, basically the same thing, so to say, you will always see a difference between the 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 men and the grade school. Always a difference. You'll always see a difference. Sometimes, and it just depends. Your smaller sizes will have better quality as far as the leather just the way this shoe is put together then the bigger sizes sometimes the bigger sizes might have better quality than the smaller sizes but um in this scenario with this particular shoe here i promise you quality it, it's impeccable there's no lack of quality in this shoe um so we can go ahead and get straight into it as far as review uh for the bottoms of what the shoe there's the very same shoe um, this shoe had a retail price of a hundred or the adult pair had a retail price of hundred and seventy dollars After tax well, it kind of just really depends on where you're at But retail was 170 for adults and grade school if I'm not mistaken. I think was 130 So you have hundred and seventy for adults. You have hundred and thirty for grade school um, re uh, The release date of this shoe of both of these shoes was actually last Saturday, which was February 29th Which was a leap year so, like I say, um, I don't know if there was any significance of that release date, but quality, fire, crazy. Um, this, I don't know, this is me, like I say, again, everybody know a retro one is my favorite silhouette. I don't care what color they put on it. So we didn't see all the crazy craziness, we didn't see all the craziness from a we can see all the craziness from a Travis Scott doodle -doo brown shoe with pink laces um, to anything as simple as a bread, a royal, a shadow backboard, uh, a shadow. Literally, I, you, can, you can't name one retro one that I wouldn't wear. And again, it's me personally. Me personally. Um, yeah, so like I say, to get straight into the shoe with enough enough of that jaw jacking and blah 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 anyway so everybody know you have a just regular i'm not let me say this one time or let me say this before i get into the actual shoe retro ones have they're known for great quality great quality not say all of them have impeccable quality but they're known to have great quality as far as the leather. Um, a lot of people say retro ones are uncomfortable to walk in or have one all day. I can literally wear retro ones all day long. Uh, I can wear a retro three sometimes, uh, not not too much all day, but a retro one I can literally put on all day and I'm cool. Um, so again, let's go ahead and get into it. What's your retro one, which I mean, I guess, well, again, they're, they're the same thing as far as your, your men and your grade school, so there's no point in doing both of them. Um, you have a pine green outer sole. You have a white midsole. Uh, once you come up to the top, you have a back, or the back the back half of your shoe is wrapped in a nice pine green that wraps all the way around. Super, 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 super dope. You have the nice pine green check. And when I tell you this tumbled leather is crazy on this shoe, the shoe is crazy. I love this shoe. Um, you have pine green toe cap, uh, this nice black. It's like a more of a matte black finish on this tumble leather across the whole top of it. Regular mesh or, you know, uh, nylon tongue. Super, super, super crazy. 
Uh, right on the tongue, they have a right a patch with a red lettering that says Nike, and then your black, you know, wings. And normally, this is kind of something new that I guess Jordan Brand is doing, so to say, where they have your actual wings logo here and all black. Normally, like for example, with this being a, a, a green and black shoe, normally like certain parts of this wing logo here will be in the actual green color. So it'd be like green and black on this wing logo, but it's all black. Anyway, shoe is super, 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 super dope. Um, Yeah, there's nothing I would change about this shoe. Stop falling for me. So, I would, again, I would like to thank everyone that continue watching. If you haven't watched, you just start watching anything, as long as you're watching. Um, thank you so, so, so much. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And um, don't forget to comment, like. Make sure you hit the like button. It literally takes you two seconds just to scroll down to boom, 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 and hit the like button. That's that simple. It's literally not hard. Make sure you hit the subscribe button too. You literally go boom, 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 boom. Like you literally scroll right there, subscribe, cool, boom. That's it, like that simple. You know, just like that, we out. Gang. Two thousand and six. Rich piece of bank, bro. Show how to do it. Ain't going crazy, even getting straight to it. I done caused you many fights, ain't no fucking no story.